Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay, welcome to lecture number 43. Uh, we have uh, derived the equations for finding the Langrange points L1, L2, and L3, and uh, we further work on that. So, going back, if we look into the previous lecture, so L1, L2, L3, these are given by these three equations, okay. and out of that, the taking equation 1, we can write using equation a here. So, whatever we has been derived below, it says using equation a. Okay. So, equation from this equation a, what we are getting that our equations can be written here in this format x to the power 5 a 4 x to the power 4 a 3 x 3 a 2 x square and a 1 x plus a 0 equal to 0. Okay. And this is true for all the three equations a, b and c, all of them can be reduced into this format. So, here in this case for the case 1, so for case 1, for case 1 which is the case of L 3, the L 3 Langrange points. A 0, A 1, A 2, A 3 and A 4. So, A 4 is 2 minus 4 mu star. 2 minus 4 mu star. A 3 is 1 minus 6 mu star plus 6 mu. 1 minus 6 mu star plus 6 mu star square. And A 2 is 1 minus 2 mu stars and like this. So, this is 1 minus minus 1 minus 2 mu star So, this is minus 1 for L 3 minus 1 minus 2 mu star as we have written here minus 1 minus 2 mu star plus 6 mu star square plus 6 mu star square minus 4 mu star cube. and then minus ok. This is A 3 2 minus 4 mu and uh, A 2 we have written as per, ok per, we are doing the mistake here. This part was in this case minus 4 mu star cube and this is ok. 1 minus 6 mu star 6 mu square this is also ok and a 1 is minus 2 minus 4 mu star a 1 is minus 2 plus 4 mu star plus 4 mu star and then this quantity mu star square plus mu star square we have to be very careful about the sign 
2 mu star cube minus 2 mu star cube plus mu to the power 4. And A 0 is here the quantity minus 1 plus 3 mu star, these are all stars minus 1 plus 3 mu star minus 3 mu star square. So, these are the coefficients of the polynomial and coefficient of x to the power 5 this appears as 1. So, in MATLAB you can use this to solve this you have to define the coefficients let us say that you write a and then the coefficient a and then uh, which is related to x 5 1 related to x 5 then a 4 a 3 a 2, a 1 and a 0 define like this and there thereafter use the command root say to get the corresponding solution. So, it will depend on the value of the mu star, how much is the value of mu star depending on that you will get the solution. So, th this is for the case for the uh, case 1 which is related to L 3. Similarly, for case 2, which we have taken as the L 2 point, the same kind of equation we have to write here a 4 x to the power 4 a 3 So, this is again quintic and solve it where we have to define all these quantities So, now we can compare these coefficients. If we look into the previous one, so we find that A 0 coefficient is the same which is for L 3 point, but what is the difference between this and this? So, A 4 is differing, then A 2 is differing, A 2 is minus 1 minus 2 mu a star, here minus 1 plus 2 mu a star, you can see that A 4 a 2 and a 1, a 1 is minus 2 4 mu a star. So, here this is 2 minus 4 mu a star. So, this way they are differing. Okay. So, again you have to devise the same trick that you define a as a vector in MATLAB where you write this as 1, a 4, a 3, a 2, a 1 and a 0 and then find roots of A. So, this will list you all the roots of uh, corresponding to uh, this quintic 
and out of that the positive value you will choose and that will correspond to the Langrange point L 2. case 3. In the case 3, this is corresponds to L 1. See, uh, this quantic we will get from this quantic is obtained by rearranging equation B. This has been obtained by rearranging equation A okay, as written here. This is by equation A, which is the case for L 3, case 1 L 3. Here in this case, uh, so for L 3 equation A, this quintic is used for case 2, this is used the uh, quintic equation B, from B we obtain this. And then for Langrange point L1, equation 3 is used, and once rearranged, so it will be represented in the same format A3 x cube, A2 x square, A1 x plus A0 equal to 0. And here in this case, then we list all these values a 0, a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, so once we work it out we can check that uh, this is the value we get here. And then A 1 we write as 2 minus 4 mu plus 5 mu a square all these are the stars in data mu a star is nothing but mu 2 by mu. So, this is very important that we consider the mass m 2 whose normalized mass is entering here all in these places. Okay, and, uh, the rest we have a 3 and a 4 is a remaining. So, a 3 a 4 this is 1 minus 6 mu plus 6 mu square So, these are the values and again you apply right define a vector as 1 a 4 a 3 a 2 a 1 a 0 by supplying proper value of the mu star and then solve it using the command root say, it will give you the roots of the quintic polynomial. This is the quintic with a fifth order poly, fifth degree polynomial and after solving this we get these points. Now, I will list uh, 
sum of the related values. So, for this if we have suppose sun is here and earth is here. Okay, so, Elvin let us say it is a lying here b is the very center. Okay. So, this distance x this magnitude wise this is equal to 0 0.9900. While for the case of the earth and moon x is given by zero point eight three six nine. So we have to use the proper value of the mu star. Mu star we can write as mu two divided by mu one plus mu two, and I will list the masses of the sun, earth and moon okay. and this is your m 2, this is m 1, m 2, m 1. Similarly, here in this case for the point L 2 is lying here, this is m 2. and m 1 is lying here, very center is here, this is your sun and this is earth. This distance is x, so magnitude wise uh, ma magnitude wise L 2 is here. Uh, it is a lying here in this place. So, this L 2 is then one point zero one and for the earth moon system earth and here there is moon and L 2 is lying here, this is m 1, m 2, m 1, m 2, we have written there also. Barry center is here, so measured from the Barry center, this distance turns out to be 1.1557. This is on normalized scale, this is magnitude wise. Similarly, in the case of L 3, so this is M 1 sun and M 2 earth. This is the very center. Now we are looking for L3. So L3 is lying here, and distance between this and this. This is your x. So magnitude wise, x will be equal to 1.000. So from your very center, this is the L3 located on the left hand side of the sun, like this. While here in the case of the moon an earth system. Measured from very center, this L 3 is located at a distance of 
1.0051. So, these are the values. Now, once we know the mu star and this distance is obviously, once mu, mu star is known. So, this distance is 1 minus mu star immediately we can calculate, we can calculate this distance also. Uh, sorry, the, this distance, uh, this mass is sorry, uh, this is mu star, this distance is mu star and this distance is here 1 minus mu star, while this mass we have represented as 1 minus mu star and this mass we have represented as mu star according to our notation we have followed. This is 1 minus mu star this mass, this distance has mu star and this distance has 1 minus mu star. So, that about the center of mass the first moment it balances 1 minus mu star times mu star this will be equal to mu star times 1 minus mu star. So, it balances. So, this is the way the Langrange points are solved for. Now, for before uh, going any further, uh, the quickly I will look into one alternative way of doing the same problem and it is a much more easier in fact than what we have done. We have done it systematically uh, derived using uh, our uh, the basic uh, equations we have developed, but those basic equations are not necessary to work out this problem, it can be done in some other way also. So, this we have to explore. And this is based on the fact, this one is worked out in the inertial frame. Okay. Let us say this is mass m 1 and here the mass m 2 is located. And let us say that mass m is located here in this place, this is the barycenter B. Now, the synodic frame is in the inertial frame, the synodic frame is moving, it is rotating and along with the synodic frame your mass m is also rotating, it is appearing a stationary in that point. That means, this point suppose this is rotating about the barycenter here like this the synodic frame where this omega we have represented it at y 1 okay, on the normalized scale. So, that means, if we write in terms of the forces acting on this mass. So, say on this mass due to m 1 force will act which we can write as f 1 and due to this mass the force f 2 will act. Okay. This we are looking in the inertial frame because the barycenter it is the refer inertial reference frame located at very center in that frame we can write the equation of motion. Okay. So, if 1 is the force acting on this due to m 1, this is due to m 1 okay, and this is due to m 2 and this will provide the necessary acceleration for this mass to move in a circle about the barry center. So, this distance you consider as a x. So, we can immediately write omega square x and this must be balanced by the corresponding force acting on the mass m. So, how this force will be acting? So, on the normalized scale we will write this as x and then this mass is 1 minus mu star and this mass is mu star. Okay. So, force due to this on the elementary mass, so obviously m will be here, but m I will remove just indicating the acceleration. So, acceleration which will be purely produced by this. So, this is 1 minus mu star, this mass g is equal to 1 on the on normalized scale. So, th this g equal to 1 and therefore, this also I am removing, I am not keeping it here. Okay, it is obvious and then the distance between these two points and a square of that. So, if, uh, distance between these two points is how much between the very center and this. Here, this is your distance, 
mu star. So, this becomes x minus mu star whole square. Here, uh, perhaps sign somewhere we have uh, done the problem. Uh, let me check here. Okay, for the first equation in this case, in the case one, case one, we go to case one. This is x minus the case one we have written as x minus mu star. And uh, somewhere we have written with plus sign that we need to correct. This is with for L3 we have written here with this is with minus sign. Somehow or other, some sign will get disturbed while copying from one place to other place. X minus mu star. This is point L2, we are taking the point L1, this is mu star, this is ok. So, for L2, this is ok, this is for L3, ok. So, this is minus sign here. So, for while copying, we have done the mistake. So, immediately we can verify from this place, then this is very easy to work. Okay, so, whenever you have to solve problem, you can use this method rather than what we have used earlier to develop the problem. That we went systematically and worked out the problem. So, other one will be due to this mu a star, the force acting on this mass. So, what is the distance from this point to this point? So, this distance from here to here, this is x and this is x and this is 1 minus mu a star. So, then we need to add it. So, x plus 1 minus mu a star, this is whole square. So, this is for you are getting L 3. Okay. Similarly, omega square x while your mass is lying here in this place, say this is the L 2 point. Okay. Again, about the very center, you will be measuring all the distances and working out. So, here no need of putting the um, this uh, sin of x either plus or minus just you work with the magnitude. So, the distance from this place to this place this is x okay. and the force acting on this will be this is x minus 1 minus mu star this distance because th this is the distance 1 minus mu star. So, force acting on this will be this equal to x and due to mu star we write here mu star divided by x minus 1 minus mu star this whole square this is acting toward the left on this side. So, this is due to this is f 2 and then due to f 1. So, f 1 all the way from this place to this place we have to write. So, on that scale, see for, for once we are doing because of the m 1. So, we have to write the force acting on this m because of this m 1. Okay. So, what is the distance from this place to this place? So, very center this distance is x and this distance is mu star and therefore, we can write immediately 1 minus mu a star divided by x plus mu a star whole square and this is for your L 2 and you check it whether it is a correct or not. For the L 2, L 2 they say 1 minus mu a star x plus mu and here x minus 1 minus mu. 
x plus mu x minus 1 minus mu. So, immediately we have got the solution. Similarly, for if the point is lying intermediate somewhere here in this place, let us say it is a lying here in this place. So, due to m 1 the force will act here in this direction which is f 1 and due to m 2 force will act here in this direction which is f 2. So, they are opposing here each other. Okay. So, if we assume m 1 is heavier, so we will write it like this omega square x equal to x equal to 1 minus mu star which is the mass of uh, m 1 okay, 1 minus mu star divided by the force acting on this. So, this distance from here to here what will this distance will be. So, we know this distance from this place to this place here in this case this is x and this distance. So, this distance is x and this distance is uh, this is mu star. So, this becomes x plus mu star. So, this is acting here in this direction and f 2 is acting in opposite direction. So, we put a minus sign there mu star is the corresponding weight involved there and then what is the distance from between this and this. So, this distance now we have to sort out what this distance will be. So, this distance will be 1 minus mu a star minus x a square and which we can rewrite as x equal to 1 minus mu a star divided by x plus mu a star whole a square minus mu a star divided by x minus 1 minus mu a star a square and this is for your L 1. So, we have got for L 1, L 2, L 3 this you can check here uh, with the green one I have shown. So, the distance from Barry center to this point this is 1 minus mu star Barry center to this and this distance if you are showing this as x from the Barry center. So, this distance will be 1 minus mu star minus x. Okay. and based on this this formulation we have done. So, and the, this is for L 1. So, th this way we have been able to work out for all the three Langrange points which are collinear the expression and this expression can be developed uh, you can uh, this is basically the equation of a quintic uh, and uh, whatever way we have developed here. So, this way you can uh, write the same thing you will get exactly the same result because the equations are we are developed and this equation all are all of them are same and we get the solution for the um, Langrange points magnitude wise how at a, what distance it is a line. So, for the earth moon system I have already written. So, I will terminate the class today here and will continue uh, in the next class. Thank you very much.